Okay, my friends, I am here for a very short video to talk about setting up notifications for groups on Facebook. So what you see in front of you right now is my screen on my desktop. So this is the desktop instructions. All right, and I created a fake. Well, it's not fake. It really it's me, but um, I created a different identity on Facebook so that I could go and look at my groups in my page as just a regular person because on my phone on my iPad on my computer it doesn't matter what I do the Facebook always recognizes me as an admin and so then I know that my my screen doesn't look the same as everybody else's so anyways Valerie Kay is coming to you today <laughs> um, to show you how to set up your notifications for your groups all right, so first things first, here I am in my, my newsfeed. All right, so this is what you see when you first open up Facebook. And I'm gonna go to the top here, you can see the little circle with the three people in it is groups. Okay, so I'm gonna click on that. Now, if you move over to the left side, you can see a list of groups that you have joined. And I joined one, and unfortunately, I haven't been very active in this group. However, um, I joined this group earlier today. And so here we are. I just clicked on the group. And now we're inside. And you can see all of the information right off the bat. Um, the title, the group, who sponsors the group. Of course, that's true scraps a lot. And then here you have a menu of all the different things that you can see within the group. All right. And I'm not going to talk to you about any of that today because I know you know all of that. What I want to talk to you about is your notifications. Okay. So if you look over here to the side, you've got a few buttons. I want you to click on joined. You can unfollow the group or leave the group. But what I want you to look at is manage notifications. Okay, so right now I have this set to highlights. Okay, you have some other choices. And probably if you're involved in one of the groups, like the VIP group, or um, calendar girls or scrapbook club, anything like that in those groups, you'll want to set all posts. And that means every time I post something or someone else posts something in the group, you will get a notification that that's happened. You can pick highlights if you want, but it's only going to be when you have a friend that posts or uh, Facebook will decide on what other posts you'll see, but you won't see all of them. Or you can pick friends posts and then you'll only see when posts notifications will come up only when people that are your friend on Facebook, when they post or you can turn off your notifications entirely. Okay, now if you move down a little bit, you'll see push notifications. This is when you um, are not in Facebook. All right, so this is what would show up on your screen uh, if you were not in Facebook and someone posted in the group. All right, so you'll just get, you only have two options here to get the highlights or turn it off entirely. Okay, and then down here, you can decide if, um, if there's people that have posted and they're just waiting to get their uh, post approved, you can see that or um, only see them, you'll get a notification, sorry, or you can only see the pending posts when you actually visit the group. Okay, so whatever you choose there is entirely up to you. If you have a friend that asks to join the group, you can get notified of that or you can turn that right off. Okay, and then very important, don't forget to click save. All right. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you about this is if you go to the where the three little dots are. All right, you can pin the group. All right, and what happens then is when you go to your home feed, which is up here, if you look on the side in your shortcuts, you'll see that group that you just pinned. 
Okay. And so once you, when you open up, you don't need to go look for groups. Your groups that you've, you've joined will come up right here on the list on the left. Now you can only see up to five. All right. And unless you edit it and put it in your own order, um, Facebook will decide which five if you have more than five, but they'll be there. You just have to expand the list and then it will show you all of your shortcuts. Okay. So I'm going to stop that share because that's it for the computer. I'm going to switch over to my overhead camera. Oh, and you get a nice picture of the camera there. Okay, I'm just moving my microphone here. And all right, so now I apologize because um, this is an iPhone and I do not have any directions for Android. So if you're an Android user and you wanted to add any information to this post, I would be very happy for you to do that. Okay, so um, I am in the same identification. I'm on Valerie Kay. All right, I'm on my home page, which you can see right there, I'm in home. All right, now I can also go to the menu and then I can see groups here. So right there, you can see at the top, because I just joined this group a little while ago, the Autumn Stash Busters group. So I can click on visit, all right? And then you're going to go to joined manage notifications and then you have all the same options that you had on the desktop computer okay so you can decide if you want all posts notifications or highlights or only your friends or no notifications all right okay i hope this helps i know that some people um, have been struggling with getting um, getting their notices with posts and they are um, disappointed when they aren't in on different posts. So if you do this with each of the groups that you're in, then you won't ever miss out on anything again, except for when Facebook changes things, <laughs> which is fairly recent or fairly often, not recent. Well, it's always recent. Anyways, <laughs> I would recommend that you go in at least every four to six weeks to your groups and make sure that your settings have not changed because they will change. Just every time Facebook updates something or changes something, which is fairly regularly, your notification options will change. So I would recommend that you go in and check those, especially if you notice that you're not getting your notifications. That's probably what's happened. All right, good luck. If you have any questions, please let me know. And as I said, if you're an Android user and you have any information that you would like to add to this post, we would love to see it. Until next time, we'll be talking to you soon.